more pushback against that proposed Ford battery plant in Marshall. Area residents against the Blue Oval Battery Park have signed a petition that questions the rezoning for one of the properties where the plant will be built. We're talking about 700 acres of land south of Michigan Avenue that was transferred from the township in mid-April and rezoned as industrial by the city. News 8's David Horak explains what the petition calls for and what could come out of this. The rezoning was approved unanimously four weeks ago by Marshall City Council members, and that is when the effort to get this petition signed and turned into the city clerk's office started. It was version 11. It was all ready to go. Glenn Kowalski helped spread the word about the petition started by the Committee to Save Marshall, not the Megasite group. It was turned into the Marshall City Clerk's Office today after exceeding their goal of 800 signatures and the state requirement of 10% of the city's population. Although we have you know, residents from the township and the city and even you know, the greater Marshall area, Fredonia, Marengo, involved, uh, this petition drive had to happen within the city. It calls for a referendum by Marshall City voters to approve or reject City Council's decision to change the zoning for one of the properties for the Ford battery plant. According to Kowalski, petitioners are arguing the terrain is not suitable for industrial use and that homeowners should be more involved in site discussions between Ford, the county, the city, and other entities involved. Basically, I think a majority of the Marshall area residents really don't want that size. I mean, that's greater than the size of Mackinac Island. That's 77 percent the size of the city of Marshall. So it's really to try and keep uh, the site uh, agriculture as best as possible. Like any petition, the Marshall City Clerk's Office says they have 20 days to determine whether this one has sufficiency. When the petitions are accepted, it puts it back to the council. They have uh, a short time that they can consider withdrawing or changing the rezoning. And if that doesn't ha happen, then they're compelled to put it to a vote. If the clerk says the petition is not sufficient, Kowalski says their group could take the matter to court. We believe that um, the language you know, of the charter clearly allows residents to to petition, 10% of the, of the registered voters to petition for um, a referendum. And if that's denied, then there is a course of action. James Durian, the head of Choose Marshall, deferred our questions regarding the petition to City Hall, but told us that plans for the site continue to move forward. The initial work on the pad phase will be finished by as early as this summer, and that discussions over the site plan between the company and its partners will begin within the next couple of weeks. Warren Marshall, David Horak, News 8. We also reached out to a spokesperson for the city of Marshall for comment, but have yet to hear back.